Hi guys, it's Anna here and this is the first in the video series, Why Am I Not Losing Weight? Now, running a women's coaching program, myself and my team speak to women every single day who are struggling with their weight loss. And obviously working with the women that I'm working with every day and all these conversations that I'm having, I've started to learn more and more about what's really going on with people and why things aren't working for them. So I've created this video series over the next few days to just explain to you some of the simple concepts that I like my clients to know and hopefully they're um, concepts that will help you and if you do need a little bit more help then obviously you're more than welcome to reach out um, and apply to work um, with me as part of my coaching program. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some concepts to set you up for the next few days. We're going to look at the concept of insulin resistance and specifically why calorie control is so important. I think with um, the popularity of low carb, high fat diets, sometimes people think, well, everything's okay as long as you don't eat carbs um, and therefore I can eat as many nuts and you know bacon and eggs as I like and, and I should lose weight. And um, that isn't actually the case. We need to be careful of overeating generally. And for the most part, I do find that a balanced diet with you know, equal levels of protein, fats and carbohydrates really does work, provided that we keep the calories under control. So I have my little pin board here today to show you. Um, and so what we're going to be looking at here is um, just some of the concepts that I'd like to talk to you about. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is this idea of insulin resistance, which is basically created by not being able to get carbohydrate into your cells. As we can see here, we've got a cell with lots of sugar already packed in it, therefore there's not much space to get the sugar that we are eating into that cell. Um, and then we've got a, what we would call a healthy cell, which you can see has some sugar in it, but there's not so much um, there that still needs to be obtained. So what happens when we find that we um, eat too many carbohydrates in the diet is we lose the capacity to process these carbohydrates. We can't get them into the cells. This is what we call insulin resistance. So those carbohydrates need to go elsewhere. So then what we see is we then get the excess carbohydrates that we can't process in the cells, they come across and they get packed in the liver. And when the liver gets full, because it only has a limited capacity for carbohydrates, we convert them to triglycerides and they get processed into the fat cells. Now what then can happen is that the fat cells will continue to grow and grow. If we are continuously exceeding our intake, if we are continuously eating more calories than we're expending, our fat cells will grow throughout the day and um, they will shrink throughout um, the night as we use them to provide energy for the cleanup processes that need to happen at night time. But what can happen is that they'll continue to grow and when they reach a certain size, as you can see here, these growing fat cells start to push outwards. They start to create a response where they are um, pressing out and um, pushing on one another. And it's that pushing on one another that starts to stimulate the immune system. Now, many people don't associate being overweight with the immune system. We think the immune system is something that's only active um, you know, when we have a cold or when we have the flu. Um, or perhaps if you're affected by autoimmune condition, you know a little bit more about the immune system. But generally speaking, we don't think that when we're carrying fat around our belly that our immune system has got anything to do with it. But in fact, it's got everything to do with it. Because it's those fat cells which are growing and pushing outwards and stimulating the immune system, this is actually causing the body to become insulin resistant. Um, and that um, facilitates that fat storage process again. So it's sort of a feed forward reaction. We're insulin resistant because we're eating too many carbohydrates. We're then growing the fat cells. The fat cells are stimulating the immune system and the immune system is making us more insulin resistant. And so what we need to know, what I really want you to understand from that, this video, apart from what I've just summarized for you, is that um, 
when we talk about the immune system we're talking about an inflammatory response the body is becoming inflamed and it's that inflammation which creates the insulin resistance because the immune system is very selfish the immune system loves sugar the immune system feeds itself on sugar so it wants to keep the sugar to feed itself which means it's going to stop you getting sugar into your own cells so that you can use it as energy and this is basically one of the processes by which disease is created. So what we need to know is that for weight loss, if we are calorie controlling, if we are in a calorie deficit, we reduce the likelihood of those fat cells growing and then pushing out on each other. And that in itself will reduce the stimulation of the immune system, which makes us more sensitive to insulin. Then we can take the foods that we are eating, we can get them in the cells, and once they're in the cells, we can burn them off as energy. It's when we can't get them in the cells that they end up here on our belly. So what I want to focus on in the next couple of videos is looking at some other scenarios where we would activate the immune system. We'll be looking at hormones and we'll be looking at digestive health and we'll be looking at stress, all of which I find are very relative to, relevant to my clients and I hope they will be relevant to you too. See you in the next video.